I'm going to plonk myself here whilst I finish my coffee. And then once I finish this, I'm going to pop out to the shops. I never know where to put you now. If I put you on the sofa, I used to be able to put you on our old sofa because it was slightly higher. You can't, you can't really see me there. I can't tell if you're wonky on the windowsill. I know I say this almost every vlog, but it is the most beautiful morning. My phone says it's minus one, but feels like minus four. I wouldn't say it feels like minus four because it's not windy. It was so frosty, it looked like it had snowed this morning and I had to double, triple check when I looked out my window. I thought, huh? They, um, there has been snow um, further north of the country. But yeah, down south, we don't really get snow. I remember one Christmas, December time that we had snow and I was, actually no. We had, the year I was 17 and the year I turned 18, we had snow. And I remember on my 18th birthday, I was meant to go to London and um, we didn't get to go. I was actually meant to go to Sketch and I've still not gone. Doug and I were gonna see if we could um, go when we went to London back in the summer, but um, we needed a book way more in advance. Yeah, so maybe one day I will eventually go to Sketch. Um, I mean, I have been to Sketch. I've been to Sketch for a couple of, press event. I've walked through the pink room and I've been to many of the rooms. I'm getting coffee everywhere. Yeah, but I've just, I've not had afternoon tea in the pink room at Sketch yet. Um, it will happen. I was going to say, we're going to go shopping today. I can't remember the last time I purposely went out to go shopping. Whenever I've done Christmas shopping, especially for Delilah, when I've wanted certain toys or a specific brand, they've never been available in any of the shops. So I've always been in the habit of buying online. And then of course, in the last couple of years, especially during the lockdown, I feel that's been installed in us even more because there were there was a, a point and months where we couldn't go to the shops. We had to shop online. And I forget that you can actually go to the shops now. I'm not gonna do all our Christmas shopping, but I'm gonna see what I can get. I'm mainly, Apart from one thing that I bought Delilah in the sale slash pre-order back in the summer, I've only bought one Christmas present so far. So I'm gonna go around the shops and see what toys I can find that I know um, Delilah would like or is on her Christmas list. So that's the plan for this morning. I'm going to um, I'm going to head out now. It's nice and early so I don't feel rushed and I can um, go around the shops at my own pace. How many of you have finished your Christmas shopping. I have seen a couple of people on my Instagram who have finished and wrapped their presents. Um, and there's me with a single present. Are you really organized or do you leave it to the last minute? Or are you like me where you're a bit organized? You feel like you're organized and then it's a little bit of a rush at the end. Didn't mean for this to be such a long intro. I'm gonna get my boots back on, wrap up warm and head out. I've been getting quite a lot of questions about my boots. I got these last year, such a good look, thermals and walking socks. They're Doc Martens and they are the, they began with G. Um, I'll try and find them. I remember, I mean, they do still feel quite chunky, but I remember liking that they were kind of in between two different styles that I like. I liked that they were a Chelsea boot, but of course, um, because their docks are slightly chunkier than most Chelsea boots, but not as chunky as some other docks. They're doing me really well. They, um, I mean, of course they're a little bit worn in, but they honestly, I've had them a year now and they're, um, they're just as good as new. The amount of questions I get about this jacket. Is this my third year with it? I think this is my third year. This is from Arquette. The jackets are made from recycled down. It's like wearing a duvet. And even throughout the summer, I was getting people messaging me, asking me about the coat and is it worth it and what size I get. I recommend in all Arquette jackets or coats, size down. They come up huge. And then this jumper I bought earlier on this year from and other stories. Should be able to link everything. They have these in a few colours. Had to buy myself a new beanie because I lost my other beanie and then I found it. So now I have two beanies. They're from All Saints. I love them. They are such a good classic fit. This year's All Saints beanie is the exact same style as I had last year. This one's woollier. My other one wasn't as woolly. So now I have two options, which is great. You've all seen this bag a million times. Again, I should be able to link it. Got it from and other stories. 
Um, and my scarf is a, it's not, it's not old. I mean, it's old, but it's not, it's not like old, old. My, my scarf is from Acne. I really need to sew this hole up. A moth got to it last year. Um, so actually they got to my red acne one as well. They both have a hole in. I love layering clothes, but when it gets to, the, gets to this time of year where you need thermals, lots of layers, jumper, gloves, hat, scarf, I kind of, I walk, I walk around feeling like Joey on that episode of Friends where Joey wears all of Chandler's clothes and I kind of walk around feeling like that because I've just got so many layers on. I couldn't help myself, I've come into anthropology, I don't know if you can hear me. I've already picked up a few things, but I want to try this top on and I found this, um, this wrapping paper. The music's really loud in here so I don't know if you can actually hear me vlogging or not. Everything is so cute, I love this loaf tin. I've wanted to find a nice loaf tin for a while. How sweet are these candles? Oh, lampshade came from here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's the bigger version of the one we have in the living room. They also have the prettiest stocking fillers. I love these pink trees. I think these are soaps. I've come into the changing room to try this top on. I'd wear this with a different pair of jeans because these are too um, low. I'd wear them with a higher rise pair of jeans. That's what it looks like from the back. I love this. I don't want to take it off now. I just want to shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. <laughs> Put all these Christmas plates and mugs. Everything is looking so Christmassy. This shop has lots of lovely food brands and this is the place that sells the Coco Loco chocolate and these are usually what I buy for Delilah's advent by some Father Christmases and some elves. I really need to get a mask that doesn't squash my nose so I end up with this big line down my nose. I've got myself a big bag from Anthropology so I can stick more things in there. Are there any more shops I want to go to down here? No, I think I'm going to head to the toy shops now. There are a few more bits I want from Anthropology, but I'm going to order them online because usually I can get an extra discount. So I use one of those, um, I don't know what you call them. They're Sensely and there's another one and they find you discount codes. So I think I could probably get it a bit cheaper on there, even though this stuff was in the sale. I think I could buy Delilah any of this stuff and she would be happy trying to find things that she's put on her list or anything that i've thought over the year oh i think she'd like that i'm not having too much luck we saw an advert for this i think it was this one i'm gonna take a picture and i'll maybe find that online maybe made it home before I do anything anything else I'm going to have something to eat because I am so hungry I just picked myself up the sami to have for lunch I thought I'd come in here because I've done a lot of vlogging downstairs recently but it would be nice to come into the bedroom I haven't actually ended up with much oops, bring you through with much shopping but um actually I will be showing you everything I get Delilah in my wrap with me video anyway so um it's yeah it's probably not the end of the world that i didn't get too much i did grab one of these because she's been going on about a big color change barbie all year she got a mini one for her birthday so i picked her up one of these of course we've got the advent chocolate I also picked up some more command hooks because i can't remember where i put ours so i got some more of these because um we use these for both the wreath and to hang the advent calendar on the wall i did pop into lush i got delilah a snow fairy shower gel i grabbed some bubble bars well i won't open this one this is the candy cane one i did get myself a bath bomb oh this is jingle bells which is it's a um, multicolored inside i think it's white on the outside with a red bow and then this one I got myself. It's called Lakes. I've never seen it before. It looks and smells so lovely. 
Fold it. <laughs> Good job I'm washing the bedding tomorrow. It's green and pink. I have a bit of a thing for mushrooms on the Christmas tree and um, I couldn't not get this. It's so pretty. This red floral fabric and then this navy corduroy fabric. I was going to run back and get the Salvanian family fair is it fairground? I'm not sure if we'll get it. I'll talk to Doug tonight and see what he's fit hit what blah blah blah. I think I need to get myself a coffee. Talk to Doug later to see what he thinks. Um I don't know if it's I think she would love playing with it, but I don't know if, if it's too babyish for her. She sort of hit that stage where quite a few things where I feel like she's not quite old enough for and then there's lots of things that she's definitely outgrown. We had the conversation the other day where she said to me, Mummy, I'm too old for Peppa Pig now, I'm too old for CBBs. <laughs> it's been a nice morning. It was nice um, just browsing around the shops by myself. I now have a good idea of what, what um, we can get in town and what we're going to need to order online. There was just a few other things I was going to try and find. I know she would really love a little makeup set because whenever she wants to do makeovers or put makeup on or dress up i don't have that much makeup i have foundation and concealer and mascara all stuff that she's not really fussed about putting on she wants to play with eyeshadow and lipstick and i don't have any of those things apart from a bobby brown shimmer stick that i put in the corner of my eyes and i know how much i used to love going to claire's and getting i just i remember having an eyeshadow palette and also a palette that had these like jelly lip balms in so i know she'd love something like that they didn't have much in i saw a few things online but they didn't have much in the store the only thing they had was this giant set and i thought she she doesn't need that oh and who remembers glitter roll-ons i used to rock, cover myself in glitter before the school discos yeah anyway i'd love to know what you're getting your little ones um especially if they're delilah's age i would love some ideas although i'm sure you're thinking that the other way around thinking Rhiannon I would love some ideas as well anyway I'm gonna stop going on about shopping I can't wait to be able to wear my new top I feel like I've said this so many times but I, I really do struggle to find evening attire that I like and feel good in and feel and, and 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 feel that suits me and I now feel like I do have a few items in my wardrobe that I can confidently think oh I can wear that I have like sparkly kind of Christmassy new year top i've also got a black top with feathers which i love so much um, but i haven't had a chance to wear that yet i also have this skirt that i thought i was going to get to wear last week the parents from delilah's class were all meant to go for christmas drinks but it's um ended up being postponed and i thought i was going to get to wear that last week there hopefully i'll get to wear that on my birthday and now i'm thinking i definitely want somewhere to go on new year's because i want to wear my sparkly top i'm going to do some editing to my book collection putting on shelves whatever i don't know what else i did in the vlog i've not quite got there yet it's a long one um so i'm just gonna edit as much as, as i can because i've always had this tendency to and maybe like maybe i'll talk about this an, uh, um, a, another time I, I've, I've started therapy again a different type of therapy and it's more sort of um in the assessment stage again i will talk about this more at a at another point but it's more in the um assessment stage where we're um trying to figure out the best route for me it's actually been a lot more eye-opening than I, I i thought it would be yeah one of the things that's come up is avoidance i have this tendency to either spend too much time on something be really perfectionistic about it or i do the complete opposite and I avoid I won't do something or I'll leave it until the very very last minute I found something that's really helped me recently well one being kinder to myself and also thinking there's only so much I can do so I'm just going to I'm just going to do stuff and whatever it is I'm just going to keep doing things and at least I'll get something done even if it takes a while I'll still be getting some, something done as opposed to being overwhelmed by the whole thing and not doing anything at all right now i'm thinking this is going to take me a long time to get from where i am now to the final result but i know i'll get there the only way i'm going to get there is doing small tasks at a time so that also breaking things down into smaller tasks stuff i've always known that i should do but just trying to be conscious of doing that we're just skimming the top of um, what i've done in therapy um again yeah that's why i don't want to talk about it because <laughs> i feel like it's very 
vague and some of you might even be thinking why are you going to therapy yeah it's the stuff that i want to talk about <sighs> another another time so i can really go into detail about stuff or as much detail as i feel comfortable um, about going into my office i again needs a mega sort out we all have one of those cupboards or one of those rooms that ends up or even a corner of a room that ends up being the the place where things just get pushed to the side and in here we can obviously we don't use this room very much obviously i use it to sit here and edit but that's it so it's kind of the room that we can put stuff in and shut the door to and i really don't like it when things are messy yeah you know i really should take this calendar down at some point that currently says march 2020 and i just forget it's there but then the door feels really bare when i don't have it there well i can't really justify buying another calendar i'm probably not going to use it or oh, you know what i probably should i should probably use it as a work calendar we have the calendar downstairs on the fridge and then i should get one for in here so i can just um look at work stuff because at the moment i just i put everything on post-it post-its which is still handy day to day but for being able to see certain deadlines and things i need to do on certain days actually it would be handy to have a big one on the door so yeah um maybe that's a good one for my christmas list because we're doing secret santa god i'm doing it again aren't i yeah and um, we're doing secret santa as we have done for um a, a fair few years now with doug's family i need to write my christmas list soon right wow i am chatty today although i feel like most of you like it when i'm chatty and just talking rubbish anyway i'm gonna get editing this um and anyone who watches this um i hope i hope you enjoyed enjoyed it fun talking through all my books not so fun editing it <laughs> Can you tell I'm I'm putting off a little, a little bit? I've just remembered. I've just seen all the candles underneath the... I'll show you. I've just seen all the candles that we have hiding underneath this chair. It's waiting for our new sofa to come so I knew what the measurements were. But I want to get some boxes, some fabric boxes so they don't scuff the floor up to put things like candles in. And also Doug and I have, um, like I have my Switch and he has his gaming controller that we can put those under, not under this chair, but under the sofa. Just an extra form of storage because we don't have any cupboards in the living room. We would like to get some built when we move Delilah's doll's house at some point, um, but that won't be happening anytime soon because she still plays with that doll's house. And I think it looks quite sweet there. That's just reminded me that I want to get some of those. I saw some lovely ones on Oliver Bonus. Okay, I can hear some of you screaming at me now saying, Rhiannon, edit. Put the camera down. I'll see, I'll see you later. We've had a big boy in. We've got, can't wait for me again. Back in the fridge. This one has requested honey toast for her post school snack. She's going up to get her duvet as well. Just living her best life really, having honey toast in her gym jams. Snuggled up on the sofa. <laughs> Delilah's just called me in to look at the sunset. Really beautiful. We wanted to watch. <laughs> we are getting the advent down from the attic. Doug also found one of our Christmas oven mitts. It's not quite advent just yet, but one more day but I thought I would get it ready. Before I do that, I'm um can get Delilah tucked up into bed. Do you want a story? Yeah. Yeah. Night night. Oh, need to turn the light off. <laughs> yeah, you can see. I can see you. Doug just there playing his game. I'm going to get this up. The lighting is always really orange in here. Maybe if I if I turn the light off. You is that a bit too dark now? No, let's just turn the light on. There's nothing I can do about these lights, they're just very orange. I know exactly where to put it because last year, the first time I've ever done this, I pulled these um, these sticky bits of the command hook a bit too quickly and it's pulled a little bit of our plaster off the wall and I'm yet to paint over it. Um, I know it needs to go exactly there. I also have this Merry Merry advent for her. She doesn't really need both but we have this so we might as well. I might as well do both. I've, um, I've done so many vlogmases now that I feel like I'm repeating myself, but that's from, that advent is from Firm Living. Um, if anyone wondering. Cool, and then, I'll bring you in here. I swear, 
Is our oven really noisy? Because I think I think it sounds really noisy. If you're looking for a non-chocolate advent, Merry Merry do some really lovely options. Ever since Delilah was a baby, I'd been eyeing them up. Can you see the cut on my hand? That was from we went we were we went shopping the other day and I knocked it on some soup and it cut a chunk out of my hand. I was really close to getting her a nutcracker one because um, she loves the nutcracker. And all of them are really nice, but um, but this one, which is the charm one, the, yeah, charm bracelet advent calendar. It seemed like the best option. Something I know she's going to love. You can probably guess that there's a charm behind each window. And it says, I don't know if there's a picture. Oh, there we go. And um, there's a picture on the back here. And um, every day you get a new charm for your bracelet. With the other ones, I felt like she'd open them and you know, she'd maybe play with them and en enjoy them. But then I felt like it would just end up being more knickknacks in her room. Whereas this, she can make the bracelet and then she has a bracelet that she can wear or put in her jewelry box. And then she has a little box at the end which she can reuse and put whatever she wants to put inside. It smells so good in here. Finally got round to ordering one of my favourite candles. Dog's, dog's running in. Don't want to miss it. Oh, are you playing? I thought it was actual football. No, it's been playing with two nights. I've been playing them. Oh no. I'm the Flung those photos up there. I need to get some proper photo frames for our strips of photos because I'd really like to have some in here or just downstairs. The uh, the candle up there is, I can't actually, I can't actually say it. Where's my phone? Feu de bois. Feu de bois. So yeah, candle translates to wood fire. Feu de bois. I had a really, I had a small one, a teeny tiny one from Diptyque last year or right at the start of the year. It smells like a wood fire and not nothing not artificial that is why i loved it teak candles because what, what anything i've had from them so far oh no are they beating you nice. anything i've had so far from dip teak smells amazing and it, none of them have ever smelt synthetic and that candle smells like it smells exactly how the pub smelt that we went to at the weekend when they had the open fire and I walked in and it instantly reminded me of that candle. Yeah, I'm actually glad I waited because I got a bit of a discount during the Black Friday sales. Oh, jeez, jeez. Sorry, it's my, it's my talking keeping you awake. <laughs> you okay, sausage? You're too loud. I'm too loud, I'll be quiet, I'm sorry. I'm being too loud. Love you. Good night. Oh, we need to put need to put potatoes on. We are having potatoes, fish cakes, and um, oh, oh, didn't realise you steamed up and vegetables. Quick and easy dinner. Let's get these potatoes in. <laughs> Am I really putting myself on the internet like this? I just wanted to say, I. I'm probably overthinking as usual. I haven't felt myself lately. I'm worried it's having an effect on the vlogs. I just wanted to say if anyone was thinking that the vlogs didn't quite feel the same or I seemed a little different because I do feel like it is having an effect on the vlogs and maybe it's just because I'm going through a phase where I, I don't like myself very much. I probably shouldn't admit that on the internet but um, we all go through those phases, don't we? And um, it just, um, I guess, makes me more critical. Um, I'm getting annoyed at myself. I'm, I'm annoying myself whilst I'm editing and I'm thinking, why would anyone want to watch this? The whole of, of Vlogmas won't be like this. Um, I just, um, yeah, I just I need to get my bearings a little. Because I'm struggling a bit, I'm finding myself, like, even vlogging, I'm, I'm finding myself questioning things and feeling like I need to explain things and justify certain things and I know when I get like that I know I'm not in the best place. Anyway enough of that. It's funny isn't it because I never critique any other YouTubers content the way I do my own. I am a, a lot of the time I don't think well that vlog was really different to the other one. Um, I just watch them because I like them and I'm sure that's what most of you are thinking right now as I say this. But yeah. On another note, who else has really dry skin at the moment? 
my i've got so much peely skin usually the pixie glow tonic helps to get rid of it and i don't want to use moisturizer on my forehead because then i get then i get spots i probably should just find one that doesn't give me spots but um i'm still since my skin's cleared up i'm so nervous to try anything on my skin that could break it out anyway right let me get this off my face i'll be with you um when i'm <laughs> not covered in cleanser my face is looking all patchy and red now our dinner's done so i'm going to um, say goodbye and i will see you in the next vlogmas goodbye